This is a tomato, as in, I'll take that sandwich without tomato. Originally, tomatoes were thought to be poisonous. Cultivated by the Aztecs since around 700 AD, European settlers were introduced to them first when they totally peacefully set up shop in the Americas. As rich people back in Europe began to import tomatoes, the elite Brits noticed that the tomatoes seemed to be toxic to consume. Poorer Brits did not experience this issue. Why did tomatoes selectively eliminate the upper ranks of society? It turns out that tomatoes were so acidic that they actually leached the lead out of the lead-coated plates, giving lead poisoning to the rich. Yet another reason not to ever eat tomatoes. But none of that answers the question, are tomatoes fruit? Ask Google and you'll receive a very unambiguous yes. However, the answer is a bit more complicated than that. Botanically, yes, tomatoes are fruit. For something to be botanically considered a fruit, it must be the mature version of a plant's ovary. Essentially, if it was once a flower, it's a fruit. Apples, fruit. Oranges, fruit. Watermelon, grapes, pomegranates, fruit. Vegetables are all other parts of the plant that aren't the fruit, but are still edible. This includes leaves like lettuce, stems like celery, roots like carrots, tubers like potatoes, bulbs like onions, and flowers like broccoli. It seems like a foregone conclusion that tomatoes too are fruit. So what makes this whole situation more complicated? The culinary definition, which was invented by a bunch of chefs just to confuse everyone else. Determining which fruits are actually culinary vegetables is a fast, loose, and subjective game. If it's a fruit that seems like a vegetable, it's probably a culinary vegetable. Pumpkins, peppers, cucumbers, technically fruit, but are all called culinary vegetables. Eggplants and, yes, tomatoes are culinary vegetables while still being botanical fruits. So the only way you can ever be wrong about whether a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable is if you argue with someone about it. But this complicated mess doesn't end here. Let's talk about the oh-so-complex world of berries. You see, berries are a specific kind of fruit that is a fruit that developed from one single ovary. So oranges, water melons, avocados, and again, tomatoes are all technically berries. But you know what aren't berries? Strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries are not berries. They're examples of what is known as accessory fruit, just like pineapples and apples. So not only are tomatoes not botanical vegetables, they're technically berries. That almost wraps it up. But whose wise and thoughtful opinions on the nature of fruits and vegetables haven't we heard from? Which deliberative body has enough power to decide the truth about tomatoes? The US Supreme Court. In 1883, President Arthur wanted to reduce tariffs on goods coming into the United States. He appointed a commission to help him figure out exactly how to make the perfect combination of tariff reductions and cuts. The result was terribly complicated, ridiculously complex, and kind of dumb. In case you don't already know where this is going, the law exempted fruits, but not vegetables from the tariff. So tomato importers sued the US government, claiming that tomatoes are technically fruit, not vegetables. This resulted in the unanimous Supreme Court decision that tomatoes are, in fact, vegetables. If you're an American and are frustrated with your government for being absolutely crazy, just remember that 20 years ago, a court in the European Union ruled that carrots are fruit.